Okay, lawn fans, you ready? So I just got done cutting the front yard today. Now, as you can see from a week ago, we've got recovery on the front yard. It was just a week late. So what did I do? Well, tried and true. I looked at everything and I found out that I needed my bed, my bed knife replaced on my reel mower. So I've got that on order. In the meantime, I did some adjustment on the reel to bed knife and I actually lifted the height of cut up to one inch. I just couldn't get the grass to catch up to where I wanted to maintain it at seven eighths. So I took it up to one inch. There's a huge difference. Let's go over here. Had somebody ask me today about the putting green and folks, I'm sad to say that it is not gonna happen. And here's the reason why. You just cannot maintain this kind of hybrid Bermuda with a mower like a McLean that's not gonna get down close like a greens um, uh, real mower. But in addition, this uh, certain species of Bermuda just is not gonna get cut that low. Be a nice chipping green, so now we are calling that the dog park. The dog isn't gonna poop and pee on it, but it's a nice level area. We can sit, let's see here, we can sit somewhere in here is our swing and watch him play right here. Um, let's see here. Let's get up a little bit closer here so y'all can take a look at the lawn. Now, is it perfect right now? No, it's not perfect. Um, there are still some brown spots and as this canopy fills in, it's gonna look a lot better. Take a look here at my neighbor's lawn. He's at, probably, if I'm at one inch, he's probably at um, two and a half to three inches. And you can actually see the difference in the height of cut right there my fingers at if you look beside it you can see how much taller it is um he's got a new lawn company and they're doing a pretty good job on his lawn um and uh shout out to kim pro northwest georgia if you guys are looking for a lawn guy here's the opposite view the sun is it's not above me i think it's about two o'clock in the afternoon or whatever so that's the opposite side so there is no smoke and mirror effect showing you from both angles and then going back that way and then up here so what did I do nothing besides adjusting the real mower God's wonderful self sent some lovely rain down the last few days um, if you guys remember this area over here I completely sprayed it with um, Roundup and that was because the annual ryegrass that I planted had tons of weed seed in it, a lot of poa in it. I actually had a mistake down through here. If I can find that line, you guys may not be able to see it here, but I actually was changing oil in my lawnmower. I put too much oil in it, it overflowed and I had to pull it quickly off the driveway down through here and it did a line down through here. Um, but it's grown back in already. This right here, that's dog pee. If I get down closer, let's see here. You'll see it's already starting to fill back in. All sorts of shoots coming up in that. Um, another dog pee area right there. So, and then the Bermuda is actually spreading nicely down the hill. All of that was nothing at the beginning of spring. So, here's another view of the front yard. And the reason why I show you all this is because I was highly upset on July the 3rd. My wife was calling me out on it. And I'm always telling you guys, just stay the course. And I wouldn't listen to myself. I was pretty frustrated. I vented to one of my buddies down the road. and uh, But I stayed in the game. I got a nice comeback happening right now. So um, a few points of this video here. Number one, stay the course, regardless if you're down about your yard, your buddy next door, his yard's looking better. Um, that's the best his yard has ever looked. Um, neighbor across the road yard's looking good. Everybody on my street is kind of contagious, like a virus. Everybody sees one yard looking good and everybody starts taking care of their yard and the next one, next one. This whole part's probably starting here at my house all the way down through. Everybody has nice looking yards now. Um, but second thing is trial and error. So if you run into an issue when you're cutting, like I was with um, like edges being cut in on one side of the mower, I tried everything, adjusting the reel, all this and that, and then finally it hit me. 
and it was the bed knife. So I needed a new bed knife. I could tell once I propped it up and looked down in there, changed the bed knife out, got it on order. It should be here um, the beginning of this next week. If you are having yard issues and it's beyond your control, there are some things you can do like this time of year, you're gonna start running into drought issues. Edge your yard, make sure um, that you edge your beds. Make sure you're keeping your um, landscaping, nice fresh cuts on it. Landscaping will make a yard. You could have the nicest green yard in the world, but if you drive by and that's all you have, people are gonna be like, Buh, I wish they had some color to that yard. So add in some color, add in some borders, add in some bushes and um, plants and roses and flowers, things to break the whole, the whole landscaping scene up. Um, so edging will make a yard during this time look good. Landscaping be nice and clean. Fresh mulch will make your yard look nice. That contrast between if you have black, brown, red, and the green grass really looks good. Um, blow your yard off. This time of year, storms come through, leaves are on your yard, blow your yard off so they don't stay on there, get matted down, and your yard looks clean. Um, other than that, guys, you know, you just take care of your house and everything else will come together. So, that's just a quick video today or a partially quick video. That's all I got. Bermuda Brian, out.